Here we are, the final part of the Mead Tournament of 2018. Ah, this has been, I don't know if you've enjoyed the videos or not, I've enjoyed just making them and trying my meads. Um, just to recap real fast, I uh, started nine months ago, I finished my 16th, I'm on 17 meads now, I finished my 16th mead to try and decided to make this tournament. We've borne down to uh, just a few of these meads, so let me show you the board. Here's the board right now, this is what has happened, I will make sure to put all of the details about who's in, who's out, and what's what. Um, you can find uh, a good list of all these numbers. Uh, I, they have a numbers for them originally, but what I did was I gave them a new number, paired them against each other in a random order, no specific order, and this is what we have left. So we are left with our grand finals, the last two of this whole thing. And they are the number five and the number two. And these, like I said, are the best of the best of my needs. Now, that's not to say that these guys are not good on the outside, or the ones that have gone through. They're good too. However, um, ultimately, I think I enjoy these two the best, clearly. So they've been going on. Um, I'm going to get right to it. Let's try it. Five and two. Here we are. Grand finals. Number two. In my left hand. Or your right. Number five. Oh, I gotta get real picky here. Especially since I know what kind of what's happening. This is where it's hard to crown a champion because they're all so good. They're really, really good. Okay, I'm just gonna get right to it. Starting with, let's do the number two. Number two. Oh. So sweet, smooth, and just, oh, it's so good. It's, it's got this like, I, I still have yet to, this is meat, the meat has made it all the way through, and I don't know what it is. I have yet to figure it out. And maybe that's just because I'm almost surprised by how, how good it is. Um, so, number two. Oh. Number five. I know what this guy is. I know he's good. Mmm. That peppermint. Gosh. Peppermint flavor is it's the smell of it is so good. So I think I'm gonna go with this last part based on a couple of things. Smell, taste, and then ultimately smoothness. So uh, I'm gonna get real picky here. And I gotta write down some numbers as I do this. Number two, smell. It's got a sweet smell. If I were giving it out of 10, 10 being the best, I would give it a, 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 a seven. It's pretty good, okay? So I'll put uh, that number here, okay? So seven, here's the five peppermint. The smell of it, this is definitely like a nine. This is, uh, it's just, it's good. Okay, uh, next was flavor. The flavor of this one, it's got that nice mellow, mellow, it's got a nice fruit, just like the honey. Everything went so well with it. I'd say it's a eight. Eight, so we got seven. Eight, nine, here's the, let's see. Taste on this one. The smell is almost a little better than the taste, so I can't give it quite as much. I'm gonna give this one, it still tastes good, but it doesn't taste as good as this, so uh, this is like a, I'd have to say this is like a, a Probably six of the two. So nine, six, seven, eight. Ooh, I hope I got my numbers right. Last one is the smoothness. This is definitely smoother, the number two. It doesn't have as much of a kick to it, which is fine. I like that. That doesn't have too much of a kick. I'm gonna give this a, probably an eight, two. Seven, eight, eight. Oh, finally. 
We're left with seven. So what did I say? Nine, six, seven, 21, two, oh wow, 23 points. Oh, I think, hope my math is right, I'm doing it in my head, to 21 points. The victor of the Mead Tournament of 2018 is the number two. And I don't know what it is. I gotta find out real fast. So, give me one second, I'm gonna find out which one it is because I feel crazy crowning something that I can't even think about. So, give me one moment. This turned out unexpected. This mead, the apple cinnamon mead. It's my big one. I thought it was happened earlier. I thought, oh my God, this beat out everything else. And I am so shocked because in my mind, I thought the things like the Boche, and I, I had a feeling that like some of the peppermint would go further, but I thought the blueberry was good. I thought a lot of these meads had such potential and this one's good and it beat them all out, which is crazy because you guys, um, if you've been watching these videos, you knew what it was from the start, which is kind of, kind of wild too. So, man, number, <sighs> I'm really glad because I made a three gallon batch of this guy, which means my best mead I have right now is the biggest batch I have. And that's great. So, I am very excited for that. To give you guys a quick recap of everything, here's the board. So in our board, we have our champion, the number two, the apple cinnamon mead. It made it through, it is the victor. We have all of these guys. Like I said, I will always make sure to put all of the information you need uh, to know. So uh, about what's what and what's moving where, ultimately. Um, but uh, I have so enjoyed making this series, this video. I'm going to do it again. And within a year or two years, whatever it is after these have aged more, and I'll have even more means to go off of. But, uh, oh gosh, this, this was cool. This was really fun. These guys, I will say, are not bad. These meads out here are not bad. Just as these are not, these are not. Ultimately, this guy just kind of took over the rest of the game. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, first time I've ever done this video. I've, I've been really excited for this series. Um, as you can tell, uh, it's been something that I've been thinking about for a while and it just worked out perfectly. So, um, I plan to do more of these. I plan to take more videos. Leave a like, subscribe, comment, do whatever. Tell me if you were right. If you were right or wrong, I, I for sure don't think I was right um, with my guess, but uh, that's okay. Ultimately, I wanna know what you guys thought. If you were right, wrong, or whatever you thought. So. Thank you so much for watching this video, the series. I know it's been coming out over a little bit of time, but your patience is so, uh, you know, appreciated by me. I just, I, I can't believe that um, this channel is growing and seeing where we're going right now. So I plan to do more of these. Leave me comments for future videos as well. I love hearing from you guys. Give me a suggestions for maybe next time I do this or a different video idea. I always want to try new things and give things a new shot or give things a shot, excuse me. So, uh, thanks for watching. You guys are the rock. You guys are so great. I will see you next time. Um, follow me on my Instagram, on my Twitter, at manmademead. You can see behind the scenes stuff of all this, of these things. And there's just a lot of cool stuff happening there. So, thanks for watching. Man. See you next time. I'm shocked. Cheers.